And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Extreme Production Series. Uh, I'm just going to start processing research here as we go, just to try to keep on top of it. Uh, okay, we are going to tackle lithium this episode. So we need lithium chloride, which is a chemical reaction in, uh, in as much as we need... So, oh, come on, 25 every half second. So that's basically like 50 per second. And the only way to get lithia water is with these water bores. So I think these things pump. I want to say, so 100 lithia water a second. So we're going to need 50 per second from each one of those. So one pump is capable of keeping up with, well, actually, no, come to think of it, the chemical furnace is crafting speed of two, and these are a crafting speed of one. So it's basically a one-to-one -one, one -one ratio between the chemical furnace and the pump. That's crazy. So I'm going to want a whole bunch of these. Because we're going to need a lot of lithium. Uh, okay, let's get back to lithium chloride. Then gets moved into an electrolyzer to make lithium. Pure lithium. And then that lithium gets moved and merged with cobalt oxide to make the lithium cobalt oxide. But we're going to need, I think for the batteries, we need both types. So lithium perchlorate, that is a tougher one because that is a result of the electrolyzer lithium chloride electrolysis system. So that's a separate system from all of this. Uh, okay, so electric chemical furnace. We're going to need some space for this. Um, is that enough space? I don't know if that's enough space. The good thing about lithium is, at least with this mod pack, it can be placed anywhere because you can pull lithium water out of, the, out of the ground anywhere. Whereas in normal tough mode bobs, you actually have to go to uh, little deposits of lithia water. I don't know if we have any around. I'm not sure if this map has them. I don't think it does. Oh, no, there it is right there. Lithia water. Yeah, regular mode bobs. That's the only the only way you get lithium. Uh, okay, so Again, the chemical furnace, if we want, we're going to want uh, quite a lot of these. So, one, oh, whoops. That is 40. Uh, I'll let, let the bots refill me. I kind of want to put some more on here. So that is one, two, three, five. So that's an even 50 right there, uh, which tells me that I'm going to need a ton of these. Uh, because all of these are going to be, not salt, lithium chloride. All right, 50 per second. Yeah, I think this is. So I'm going to paste all of these down. All of these up. Okay, that's a lot of rotation that I need to do. Try to do it efficiently. 
Okay. It's a little harder to do this one because I have to hit shift. Again, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. Oop. That's why I'm doing one pump per system. Just because we're, we, we need a maximum amount. Oh. Going in. It's best to overdo it rather than not, uh, not have enough production. by the way. Wow. This is probably the biggest lithium setup I've ever done. So now we want the lithia water for all of these. There it is. So this should, yeah, this should give us like four a minute. No, four per second. Really? 0.5, craft speed to two. Yeah, like four per second. That's a lot. Uh, so uh, where's the midpoint between all of this? I actually want... Um, We need lithium chloride, which we're getting from this with this process. Then do we need lithium chloride for this? No, we need lithium cobalt oxide and lithium perchlorate. And the lithium perchlorate, again, is a special electrolyzer setup. So more water in an electrolyzer gives us a little bit of hydrogen which i can take and make into solid fuel if i really want to um somebody suggested i do that instead of just venting it so do i want to go up with these or down with these that is the question if i go up i'm gonna need i'm gonna need this cobalt oxide somewhere to join up so maybe half goes up half comes down maybe I can do it that way let's uh let's look at our ratios here and so lithium cobalt oxide is one every seven seconds and then this one is one every second so this process will this will process 10 times. No, one every seven seconds, one, at, one every second. This will process like seven times. So yeah, I wanna just merge these all into one line. I think that's the best way to go. And I'm gonna come down with it. So we need, uh, let's see, 25 on each side. I don't think there's going to be a exact center. So 24, that would be 12, the 13th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the 13th one right there. Well, let's not stand on the tracks, please. Since these are going to process so fast, I want to split these out just to make sure. Um, how do I want to rotate these? First, I think I want to put these into a warehouse for no particular reason other than having ample amount stored up. And of course, I'm going to need to make sure that's all covered. So let's let's make sure. 
that can go way down here, can it? Right there. Okay. So now we need two di two different systems. We need to com uh, combine them with cobalt oxide to create the one material that we need, and then we need to oh, we need to smelt these into lithium first. So lithium is just the lithium chloride in a electrolyzer. So let's get some electrolyzers going here. And we're going to Okay, so this is going to be lithium. Just like that. Oh, I wish I could walk between those. That would be so nice. Um, I don't really want this to be there. I'm going to put it there instead. Oh, I picked up some bots, so you can go away. All right. That will create our lithium, which we need to bring down and merge in with the, the cobalt oxide. I should have actually put those somewhere else. So... I need to change this to be the lithium perchlorate. Change this out. That seems to be a little bit a little bit of a better idea. And so we need water in the back and we need hydrogen out the front. Okay, now we need hydrogen out the front coming out. Yeah, I think I can pretty easily convert that into solid fuel. And this allows me access Just gonna merge that over to there and I think I have yeah I still have a water pump on me that's good um, the other thing I'm gonna need is power over here I want to start getting this lithium working for us oh come on Right there. Now I need output. Do I have? I don't have a blueprint just for generic. That is a crazy amount. And those are purple belts, and we're filling those up. Grossly, grossly underestimated just how much of that stuff we're able to make. Obviously, wow, that's that's actually a lot. Look how fast that is. Wow, I had no idea. Okay, well, it is what it is. I'm going to have to rethink that maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I may not. Okay, so this is going to create ample amounts, I think. What is the craft time on this? 
one second. Yeah, this should create ample amounts of the material that I want. So I'm going to throw that into a warehouse because this is the the electrolysis. So this should work work to our advantage here. Um, something like that. So these are going to be pull in. These are going to be push out. Let's get the let's get the middle things done. It'll make make it easier to put the inserters in once these are in. And then I'm going to want a couple tungsten undergrounds because they can go a long, long ways. So let's just grab a whole stack of those. We'll let that work its magic. Okay, so in here, there it is. No, not hydrogen. Um, where is the solid fuel? There it is, solid fuel. Oh, I need coal? Really? I thought I could just convert it straight away. So I guess I'm going to need coal for that little process. Okay, so the tungsten, tungsten underground, we should be able to stretch this quite a ways. Beautiful. All right. Uh, I know I have a oh, pipe. So I think this is chemical plant, solid fuel. Um, and then actually let's something like that. And I just want that to load in and I need a requester chest for coal. And I don't have any coal in the system yet. Let's go down and remedy that little problem. Okay, so this we need one going out there, one going out there. There we go. And this should fill up rather fast. Um, it's just one coal? Indeed, it is just one coal. So now I want to make sure we're putting some a little bit of coal in the system. Just for funsies. Also, time to think of it. I need one more thing. Because I want to get a... I want to put a switch up on this. Because this is kind of my emergency system. So you can see now we're strictly... So power switch is right here. I actually need I need one accumulator. Now granted, I'm not really making them yet. I did research the basic level, but none of Bob's are researched. Uh, I need a few batteries. Where is it? Right here, accumulator. So I want to wire this up um, right in. Where did the accumulator go? There it is. I love how it highlights like that. Uh, okay, so this one, this is tied in to the nuclear side of things. And we're going to need a couple. So 
This one gets wired into this side. This one gets wired over to here. And then I need a, no, I need a program or a wire connecting these two together. So this outputs to signal A and it's outputting a charge level between zero and 100. This, when signal A, when signal A is less than 30. So that means uh, when this thing is below 30% charge, this will switch over and all of these will kick on. So as you can see, there's no power, a little bit of power from 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 this thing here. That's, that's actually draining quite a lot of power. But anyway, and that will help reduce, uh, well, I guess we don't have a whole lot of pollution. We're really, really keeping up with things. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I was going for there. Um, so one of the things I'd like to do is upgrade all of this. Yes, it's a little overkill for all of those. I understand that. I guess those are not in my upgrade planner. So let's just upgrade all of these. Get that, get that coal moving as fast as possible. Whoops. There we go. Now I think I, I, think I got it. So I want to use both of these to dump into a logistics chest. So why I've upgraded them. So I want this one to basically come right in there. So you're going to load in right there. And the other one doesn't really matter where the other one comes in. like so and then this comes in like that and it's all good lots and lots these are all mark twos now if I were to upgrade these to mark fives uh, yeah those are, it would fill just one or two of these would fill up a purple belt no problem uh, and then let's Let's put a limit on that just so it doesn't sit and run constantly. But yeah, I mean we're not we're not using not using the coal for power. Might as well use it for something, right? Let's go up and check how how this stuff is doing. Oh, I want to get refilled. I also want uh, purple. No purple splitters. I want like 50 of those. I think I'm still, yeah, I'm in within logistics range here. Here they come. Oh, I love, I love robots. I really do. Lithium chloride. I still have a bunch of lithium chloride. I better put this away before that fills up. There we go. So, Look at the cobalt oxide. Look at that. We've got lots and lots of that. We're getting lots and lots of this. This is almost full. It's crazy how much of that we're actually making. I had no idea it was going to fill up the belt that much. But it is what it is. We've got plenty of backup. Not worried about it. Uh, and now that this is going, what is the hold up here? It is hydrogen. So... I guess 
Hmm. Well, I think we're going to need some tanks. So I'm going to put a tank here and one here. So uh, let's merge these in. going. I kind of want to use plastic pipe for this. So yeah, let's get like 50 of that. 50 of that. I've already got the 50 there. would be nice as well. Like so. So now this, all of these should be running now. Okay, good. Uh, and now we need, now we need coal. So I'm thinking pulling this out here running it along the back and then the, this side can be the load in on this side oh I don't have any more of those thingies um, I'm gonna need some more logistics slots Okay, so put that up. That goes there. Okay. Hopefully, so we'll draw this down. Uh, I need. Where is. I know they're in here somewhere. I don't think they were up there. I think they were down here. There they are. Alright. Hopefully, this starts drawing this down. really wish there was a one square pump that would be that would be so nice okay this is drawing it down this is drawing down okay I think we're I think we've got it set all right well that'll have to do it for this episode and I thank you for watching and I will see you next time